end of this fight for the Bellator Welterweight World Championship. Jay Haran versus Ben Askren. Jay Haran earned this world title fight by winning Bellator's season four welterweight tournament earlier this year. Jay, the thoroughbred Haran. I haven't lost a fight in four years. I'm ready to keep this streak going. There's no better feeling than getting your hand raised after a fight. I've been through everything. I've been through the politics. I've been through not getting any fights. I've been through everything. But when I signed with Bellator, that's what I was looking for. Bellator had the right format for me, where I believe in my skills and I feel I'm gonna win my fights. And when I do that, there's nothing else gonna hold me back from getting a title shot. I think me being a part of Extreme Couture is incredible. I'm one of the guys that started the gym. I mean, literally putting down tile on the floor. Randy's a great guy, man. He leads by example. He's like a big brother and trying to follow in his footsteps. Ben Askren has one way to make this fight exciting, and he's doing it with his mouth. On fight night, the cage door shuts, clench him off fist, and punch him right in the mouth that he's talking from. Knocking Ben Askren out on fight night would be great. I visualized it many times in training, so I'm ready to do it. Any man could be knocked out on any day. You're fighting with four ounce gloves, you get hit on the right spot, good night. A true champion defends his title. That's exactly what I'm going to do after I take this belt off Ben Askren's way. Nobody's giving me none, so I'm going to go out and take it. Bottom line. Bottom line. This is the first title defense for Ben Askren, who won the Bellator Welterweight World Championship last October with a five round unanimous decision victory over Lyman Good. I am the future of the welterweight division. All the top welterweights in the world, they've been fighting forever. I've been fighting for two and a half years. Most of them have been doing it for a decade. Give me another two and a half, and, and I'll, you know, I think I'm gonna shoot right past a lot of them. I am a two-time national champ from the University of Missouri. I won two Dan Hodge awards for the best college wrestler at any weight, any division, and I'm a 2008 wrestling Olympian. There's no one at 107 pounds in mixed martial arts that I can't put on their back. Asker going for the single leg and gets it. What explosion. I've been training at a high level to beat the best guys in the country and the world for the last 10, 12, 15 years of my life. I've been to those deep, dark places that, that other people quit, and that's the reason I passed them by, and that's the reason I am the champion. But I don't quit. I never have. I never will. Uh, until, the day, until the day I die, I assume. Shine on my belt for me, man. I'm coming for it. Jay talking bad about me is nothing new. Uh, everyone I've fought said bad things about me. I think that shows a definite fear in him. I know exactly how I'm going to win the fight. I'm gonna take him down repeatedly. I'm gonna beat him up, I'm gonna bruise him, I'm gonna make him bleed, I'm gonna choke him. Uh, it's gonna be a, a one-sided affair. It doesn't matter where this fight happens, you know, whether we're fighting in the cage or they're fighting in Jay's living room, same thing's gonna happen. I'm gonna beat his ass. Ladies and gentlemen, the first fighter now set and ready to make his way to the cage, earning his title shot as a tournament champion, Jay the Thoroughbred. A tremendous amount of animosity has built up between these two outstanding fighters coming into this world title bout. Started on Twitter, continued at the weigh-in, and it will be settled tonight in the cage. That's the great thing about fighting. You say anything you want, you gotta back it up in here. Entering this fight, Jay Haran said, quote, Ben looks like a one-trick pony right now. I think if I start putting my hands on his face, he is going to feel out of his element. Once that cage door shuts, it's just me and Ben in there. Nobody can help him. <laughs> Strong words. He's one of those guys who thinks that Ben will react poorly to the punches, poorly to getting punched in the face and dealing with the combinations of Jay Haran. This is the 27th pro MMA fight for Jay Haran and her 22 wins, four losses, and 10 straight victories. You know, Ben has said many times, I'm not a one-trick pony, I'm a two-trick pony. I have good wrestling, I have good jiu-jitsu. He has outstanding wrestling and good jiu-jitsu. So, you know, he's one of those guys who says, hey, my skills are developing, but he knows what he's good at. Jay Heron is right, he doesn't have that completely well-rounded game, but that might be enough to win this fight. So much talk going into this fight is about the outstanding wrestling of the Olympian Ben Askren. Haran, though, comes to MMA from wrestling, wrestled at the NCAA Division I level at Hofstra University in New York. Now, he is experienced junior college national champion, has wrestled at a high level, can he stay on the feet? 
now ready to make his way to the cage. The defending Bellator welterweight world champion, Funky Ben Askren. As a pro MMA fighter, Bellator's reigning world welterweight champion, Ben Askren, a perfect 8 0. In wrestling, a four time All American at the NCAA Division I level at the University of Missouri, a two time runner up, a two time national champion at the 2008 Summer Olympics. Askren represented the United States in freestyle wrestling. All of his losses in college were to one wrestler. He's a two-time runner-up. He was one wrestler away from going undefeated all four years. An incredible accomplishment. Ben Askren countered Jay Haran's quote with, when he's running his mouth like that, it's because he is expressing fear. I'm going to take him down. I'm going to put him on his back and either submit him or beat his ass for 25 minutes. Oh, we'll see if that's the case. You know, Ben Askren is one of those guys who likes getting in his opponent's heads. He's stepped forward at every way and gotten in the other guy's face and had some words for him. He's one of those guys, mental gamesmanship is a big part of his strategy. Jimmy, for this world title fight, this is our tale of the tape. You see Ben Askren undefeated in his young career, 8-0. Jay Haran, vastly more experienced, 26 fights, and he's taken on some great talent. Here again is Michael Williams. Bellator Fighting Championships on MTV2 and in HD on FX2 now presents the first of two world title fights here in Bellator Season 5. Brought to you by Everlast Greatness is Within. We now go inside the cage. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Welterweight World Championship. Introducing first out of the red corner at six foot. He weighed in at 169 and three quarter pounds. The season four welterweight tournament champion brings an impressive professional record with 22 victories, four defeats, fighting from Freeport, Long Island by way of Las Vegas, Nevada, world title challenger, Jay, the thoroughbred, hurrah! And across the cage, out of the blue corner at five foot 11, weighing in at 169 and one half pounds, the U.S. Olympic wrestler as a professional inside the cage stands undefeated at eight victories, no defeats, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the defending Bellator welterweight world champion, Funky Ben Askren. And the third man inside the cage referee, Jason Herzog. Guys, gone over the rules in the back. This is for the Bellator Welterweight Championship. Are there any final questions from you, Blue? Any final questions from you, Red? Touch gloves, come out ready to fight. This Bellator World Title fight is under the unified rules of MMA. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Elbows to the head are allowed. Shay Haran versus the undefeated champion Ben Askren, the bell in round number one. How long can Jay Haran stay on his feet? That's a huge question. Askren said, I'm going to come right in, look for the takedown. No takedown yet. Askren has been training extensively on his boxing and on his kickboxing. With Duke Rufus, one of the best in the world. But he's very candid. He knows he's not a great striker yet. That's going to take a lot of years. He sticks to his strengths. Askren said my, said my striking quote is a work in progress. But he believes, as he said, he can put any 170-pounder in the sport, probably on the planet Earth, on their back. I totally agree with him. Big uppercut by Haran, now letting go with shots. Now, this is not where Haran wants to be. E even on top, Ben Askren is funky. He's going to turn, look for a leg, and go for the takedown. Doesn't do, do a lot of traditional jujitsu stuff. Side control now held by Jay Haran. He is in the white and yellow trunks. Ben Askren is in the black and gold trunks, paying homage to his nearby University of Missouri Tigers. Jason Herzog is the referee. Askren said he's very comfortable off his back with his bottom game, but this is what he's so good at. Sitting up, grabbing a leg, and driving forward. Askren back to his feet. All of the sportsmanship that we saw in Prindle versus Sparks, expect none of that here. These two guys have genuine animosity, genuine dislike coming into this fight. Yeah, but they're professionals. They're not gonna let that talk affect the way they fight. That is key. 
Haran said, I'm a really emotional person, but I have to fight emotion free. Askren said, I've gotten in his head, he lacks confidence, and he really lacks confidence against me. Every second, though, he spends on his feet, he's gonna gain confidence. No shot yet from Askren. Good right hand by Askren. There's the shot from Askren. Nicely defended by Haran, then a knee from Askren. Haran, though, has not been taken down. The one thing, if he's just worried about the takedown, he's gonna eat shots. He has to worry about those wild strikes of Askren. He's thrown some big, loopy, ugly punches like that, but they can land if you're just worried about the double leg. Haran just missed with that big right uppercut. Askren now playing for the takedown. Haran pulls away nicely. Ron letting go with the left jab. And the fight I'm thinking of is against Rick Hahn in that first round. Jay Haran threw a lot of punches, a lot of combinations. I think that's what he needs to do in this fight. Stay busy, throw those uppercuts. Askren missing over the top, letting go with the knee. This is a much more tenacious Ben Askren than we've ever seen before. That's very true, he's throwing some wild strikes. Just trying to clear the distance and get inside. But so far, I'm impressed with the takedown defense of Jay Haran. Still no takedowns yet recorded by Ben Askren. And if you've seen Askren fight before, you know that that is remarkable. Askren throwing wild shots, but I think Jay Haran right now landing a little bit cleaner. Askren coming forward. Ron initiated that clinch, Askren pulls free. Problem is, is, he's reaching with both hands. You see Ben Askren under duress, reaches with both hands. That's never a good idea. Askren said, the only way that I can lose in MMA is to be knocked out by one punch. And he said, quite frankly, Haran does not have one punch knockout power. Good sprawl by Jay Haran. He's living up to his nickname, Funky Ben Askren. Those strikes are funky. His feet are twisted up. Really off balance, throwing wild strikes. But I think Jay Haran still needs to stay, stay conscious of those strikes. Bouncing the step now of Haran. Earning this world title shot by virtue of winning Bellator's season four 170 pound tournament earlier this year. Jay Haran keeps pawing at his eyes. I think maybe a couple of those shots grazed his eyes. A little bit of blood you see on the nose. Askren getting a little lower in his stance as he continues to move forward, closing stages of round number one. Remember, scheduled for five in this world title fight. Haran keeping his composure. Slipped there on the kick by Askren. Haran did not pounce. What's up there, guys? Watch your fingers, watch your fingers when you're coming in, okay? Get down, man. Get down. Get down, man. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get into the corner of the world champion, nice. Ben Askren. Very, nice. Very good. Hey, listen, babe. Everything is working good, but listen. We need that head movement. This is just a scratch. Now your blood is just a scratch. You see me? Listen to me. Sit there and look at me. Don't stand there too long. Don't stand there too long. It's all the reason why you sleeping with that guy. I got it. I got it, man. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, no, no. We got it. Stay here, Mike. Stay here. Listen. Okay? Don't stand in front of him. Remember, when I say I angles, it means change the rest. Now, listen, we're going for them looking. Okay? But make sure you take the time. Always face. Heading into round number two of this world title fight at 170 pounds, Jay Haran versus the undefeated champion, the 2008 U.S. Olympian, Ben Askren. Jimmy, on your scorecard. Man, that was such a tough round to score. It literally could have gone either way. I give the slight edge to Jay Haran, a little bit tighter with the strikes, and Ben Askren not able to get his takedown going. Jay Haran is in the white and yellow trunks. Ben Askren, the champion, is in the black and gold trunks. 
Askren described his strategy as take him down and beat Jehoran up on the ground. Thus far, no takedowns by Ben Askren. You see that sharp jab? That's why I'm giving him that first round. He landed that jab with some consistency. Weren't big shots, but sharper catching, her, uh, catching uh, Ben Askren coming in. There's the sprawl, and there's the first takedown. Big ovation from this Kansas City, Kansas crowd. Obviously, Ben Askren wrestled. University of Missouri is going to get a lot of support here from this crowd. The MU campus just over a two-hour drive from this venue. A lot of MU fans in Kansas City turning out for Askren. Huron going for the vicious up kicks. Look how sticky now Askren is, chest to chest. He's at his best, I think, on top when he is moving, when he's mobile. Changes position so well, you don't know where he is until it's too late. That is the strength of Ben Askren on top. Ben Askren is a fighter and as a wrestler expresses supreme confidence. But as a fighter, he admits his flaws, he admits his weaknesses, but he emphasizes his strengths, and he believes that his strengths will always see him through. You know, before we saw Joe Warren get knocked out against Alexis Vila, all he talked about was his striking. My striking so good, I'm working on my boxing, I'm gonna knock somebody out, and he got knocked out. Ben Askren doesn't do that. He goes, I've been working on it, it ain't great, I'm still a wrestler. He sticks to his strengths. Chest this is where he's strong, on top. Askren talking to referee Jason Herzog. I think he's saying fingers in the eye with the left hand by Jay Haran. Well, he's trying to push off to get space. Quite likely those fingers slipping into the eyes. Right hands now by the champion Ben Askren. Those are landing cleanly. Half guard being held in a tight half guard held by Haran. Trying to pass guard. You see that left instep on top of the thigh? Trying to squeeze that right leg through. Haran still holding half guard. Askren trying to punch through the body with the right hand. And a lot of great wrestlers, great jujitsu guys at Extreme Couture in Vegas, but the style of Ben Askren is so difficult to simulate. Not only his wrestling, his jujitsu. He doesn't do jujitsu like a world champion. He does it like a hybrid wrestler. It's a very funky, difficult style to train for. You can find other former national champions at the NCAA Division I level to train with. You can even find former Olympians to train with, but who really would emulate Askren's style on the mat? A very hard to do. Elbow being pushed down now into the throat by Askren. That's a good wrestler's trick. Nice right hand by Askren. This is where Askren wants to be. The stand up in round one, that is where Haran wanted to be. Haran said, despite his wrestling background at Hofstra University, he wanted to keep this fight standing. Yeah, he definitely does. You see the work rate of Ben Askren, always busy, throws from a lot of awkward positions. Good right hand. Look at the position of the Askren left forearm. Just under the chin, into the throat. Always keeping Jay Huron flat. And half guard, that's where you don't want to be. Finally getting full guard. Full guard achieved by Jay Huron. A very small moral victory, perhaps. Big up kick by Haran. Askren right back in. Look at him drive with his head. Who in MMA would do that? Classic guard pass here. Haran now going to the triangle. He's not going to get that. Jimmy, who in this sport at any level would drive through <laughs> with their head down like that? You know, he, he's just putting a lot of weight on top of Haran, lifting up the legs. Great way to pass guard. You see it work. Askren has told us, I'm not weightlifter strong, I'm wrestler strong. When I grip you, I can hold you forever. And Haran trying to turn. And he can do this forever. He has great wind when it comes to grappling. This guy can wrestle, he can grapple for hours and not get tired. Knee to the body, another knee to the body. Right knee, left knee, right knee, left That's knee fun, by Askren. Things going the way of the champion here in round number two. A big ovation from this Kansas City crowd for Askren.
That is exactly the kind of round that j Ron did not want. Now listen. If you're feeling ready and you want to let that fucking knee go, and you want to let him go, tuck, tuck, right hand. That right hand's coming out you. Yeah, you set it up. Look for the arm. Look for the arm. He's off now. Hey. Put the under over his right hand. One, he looks tired and swollen. Combination, baby. One and two punches at a time. Yeah, you're a hawk. Little All right, hold up for this jab, man. Don't worry about that. Right. Yeah, don't wait on him, man. Okay, listen, man. He he couldn't he couldn't do any damage, man. You understand? Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's get them hands going, baby. Okay? Let's get them hands moving, Jay. Hey. See the takedown attempts by Ben Askren, that first round stuffed by Jay Haran, even deep on a single leg. Leg, I'm really impressed with the takedown defense of Jay Haran, but in that second round, so tight on that double leg, he finally gets on top, and from there, nothing but Ben Askren. Heading into round number three, this world title fight, again, scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Jimmy underscore card. Gave that last round to Ben Askren. How could you not? It's all tied up. Jay Haran is in the white and yellow trunks. The champion, Ben Askren, is in the black and gold trunks. I've said it before many times, the style of Jay Haran. Oh, th that hunt and peck kind of style throws a lot of punches, but not a lot of big bombs makes him much harder to take down than a power puncher like Lyman Good or Dan Hornbucker. Doesn't have a lot of one-shot knockout power, but he throws good hands, good combinations. I think that's what's frustrating Ben Askren from the outside. He's not loading up big shots that Ben Askren can see. 50 seconds into round three of this fight. Askren has recorded exactly one takedown, but off of that takedown, he did not allow Jay Haran back to his feet. I certainly didn't. That, of course, in our last round. No shots yet from the champion Askren thus far in round three. Nice left hook. Very nice left hook by Haran. You see here, picking him apart. Askren driving in. Good defense there by Haran. Now, I'm surprised we're not seeing more punches off the clinch. Whenever they're done clinching, Askren is very vulnerable. He has both hands uh, you know, out trying to touch Jay Haran. I'm surprised Haran isn't giving him one over the top. A kick missed there by Haran. Askren undaunted, coming forward, missing with a wild, wide <laughs> left hook. When you spin around on your left hook. Haran, though, did not pounce. No, he didn't, and that's, you know, might be part of his strategy, not getting too close to Ben Askren, even when he makes a mistake. Use that opportunity to get distance and keep it in the middle. A slap there, that was an open-handed slap by Ben Askren. Insulting, but not damaging. And that's nice. Askren missed with the left, and then shooting in. Beautiful takedown. That was off of a miss, Jimmy. It's off of a miss, but he turned it into a body lock. And from there, Ben Askren has taken down nine times out of ten. Talk about funky. Seriously, he missed with a left hook, spun, and then found the takedown. Talking to George Gurzel. Oh, oh kick nice there by on. Askren tenaciously back in. Tried to step over in the full mount, almost had it. Haran, though, in the half guard. And the problem is guard has not been kind to Jay Haran so far in this fight. He needs to take these opportunities that off that up kick, for example, to get space, scramble back to his feet. This traditional half guard, full guard jiu-jitsu game, I don't think he's going to win against Ben Askren. Look at the little forearm smashes. Hey, his ground and pound is death of a thousand cuts. He doesn't land a lot of big bombs. He doesn't sit up real high. He just lands little shots that, that wear you down. That's absolutely smothering by Ben Askren. Look at the placement of the knee, stepping over, clearing the Good shoulder. Good job by Jay Haran. Oh, that's gorgeous by Haran. Haran cannot stay here with Ben Askren. Even if he's on top, he wants to push away and get space. Just what he did. Askren a clubbing little right hand. Half hook, half uppercut. A good takedown, but didn't get a lot done on top. Askren coming forward again. Missing with the one-two. Ron rubbing in his right eye. 
You know, we're seeing similar styles. They're just in different places. On the feet, Jay Haran slowly picking apart Ben Askren. No big bombs, no power shots, light shots, but accurate. On the ground, the exact opposite. Ben Askren on top, landing these short little shots that keep him there on top. Haran keeps rubbing his right eye. He's squinting a bit out of that right eye, but he's definitely not cut. He has been doing that since the first round. Could have been a punch, scraped his eye, Sean. Body kick lands. Haran just missed with that head kick. Spinning back kick there by Haran. Eskren saw it coming. But in this round, it's Jay Haran landing the more effective strikes. Nice jab coming forward. Askren missing with that one-two. Askren's the aggressor a lot of the times. He's just not landing those one-twos. It's Body Jay kick. Haran. It's Jay Haran more successful from the outside, especially with that jab. Closing seconds of round three. We're heading to deep water now. Jimmy, are you surprised at how much stand-up we've had through the opening 15 minutes? I certainly am. Uh, I'm surprised Ben Askren hasn't come in and gone for more takedowns. I'm surprised at the takedown defense of Jay Haran. Into the corner of the champion, Ben Askren. Okay, turn around. Turn around, baby. Turn around. Turn around. You got to let your hands go, Ben. Don't worry. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. All right. He's, trying, he's trying to counter your yeah, jab. So you got Lead with the right one. sometimes. Yep. And also try this. Try to fake. Now that you've been shooting, you never fake the shot. Fake your jab because you're going to try to counter. Yeah. You can we'll fake the, the jab and then we'll shoot. Pull the rear off because he's ducking underneath it all the time. Jay, I don't give a shit how tired you want, man. You need to he fucking tired. move. You need to move, you need to punch and move, okay? Let's start using them leg kicks, too. You understand me? That front kick, set it up, man. Set up that front kick. You understand me? Give me a deep breath. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Hey, same thing, that round. Don't get up. Stay off the ground, baby. Let's go. There you see our Bellator girls, Mercedes Terrell and Jade Bryce, indicating we are going to round four. This the 27th pro MMA fight for Jay Haran, the first Four time times. that Are he has ready? been past three fight. rounds. You were looking at the round number? What is wrong with you? Ninth pro MMA fight for Ben Askren, the second time that he has been past the third round. A year ago, October of last year, Askren won this belt, defeated Bellator's inaugural 170-pound world good champion, right Lyman hand. Good. That was a five-round unanimous decision. Oh, good right hand. Jimmy, on your scorecard. I gave that last round, once again, a very close round. I did give it to Jay Haran. Thought he landed the more effective strikes. Jay Haran is in the white and yellow trunks, in top position, throwing the right hands as the champion, Ben Askren, in the black and gold trunks. Ben Askren did get the takedown of that last round, but didn't do a lot with it. I don't think he held him down long enough to win that round. This one starting out very well for the champ. Three big knees by Askren, make it four. The Kansas City crowd really reacting to that. Now this is a, this is wrestling 101. It's called parterre position. Fighter driving us close. This is standard in NCAA wrestling. He's been here for years. Another big knee by Askren. Another thing is this crowd is so much behind him. The judges are going to know every time Ben Askren lands anything. That's important to keep in mind. And this is so fatiguing, Sean. You're not only carrying your weight, you're carrying your opponent's weight. He's putting pressure on you. Very good at taking the energy out of someone like Jay Haran. Askren, all body control from this top position. You see Haran just turtling down, playing all defense at the moment, and another big knee from Askren. I see him complaining to uh, the referee about hitting the back of the head, but those look legit to me, aiming for the ears. Reverse hammer fist now. Right hands by the champion, Ben Askren. I think the word is stuck. Jay Haran, so talented, so explosive, is stuck right now in this position. It certainly is. He doesn't want to explode and give up his neck, give up something stupid. Haran said he was training for all five rounds, but again, 27 pro fights in the first time past three. 
Also, the first time facing Ben Askren. His style is to wear you down. So sticky, so tenacious. Run looking for a conventional escape with a sit through. Could not find it. Askren, this is his world. Also has Jehan up against the fence to limit Haran's mobility. Haran keeps talking to referee Jason Herzog. The complaint is he's saying that Askren is punching him to the back of the head. Herzog disagreeing. He's controlled now by Askren and another knee. Well, you see it's not traditional jujitsu, not necessarily trying to get his hooks in. Into the air, do not miss. Heavy hips, but not doing what a jujitsu fighter would do. It's all about control and positioning. Control, whoa, good roll by Jay Haran. That's great explosion now from Haran. Look at that hip pressure from Haran, but Ben Askren so good at picking it up and using it, driving forward, looking for another takedown. He does not get it. Haran back to his feet in the center of the Bellator cage. And this has been an outstanding fight from both guys, Sean. Well done by Haran there on that escape. This is again where Jay Haran wants to be. Askren dropping his shoulders. Askren, you know he has to be thinking about a shot at all times, Jimmy. As much as he's worked on his striking, I think that he is always instinctively looking for the shot. Uh, he certainly is. He's thinking takedown. Nice right hand over the top. Final minute of round four. The problem is if Jay Haran, like in this round, falls behind, he doesn't land the kind of big bombs that are going to swing around in his favor. He tends to, around to land, you know, shots like that. Accurate pinpoint, but not round-changing shots. He cannot fall behind like this. The first title defense for Bellator's reigning and thus far undefeated welterweight world champion Ben Askren. Will it be a successful title defense, or will Jay Haran become Bellator's third ever 170-pound world titleist? Okay. Well, time, he got time, fingered time. in the Careful. eye. Time called Ray, by referee Jason Herzog. Uh, you saw Ben Askren turn to the ref, I think, Fighter? and tell him. Oh, he took a finger in the eye. Into Haran's okay. left eye. But, uh, yeah, these guys don't like each other, but they're still, they're still sportsmen, they're still professionals. You can't see. Just fight. like a low so blow, Haran now can take up to five minutes to recover. See if we can get a look at it. Moving in, nice left hook. Yeah, that that left finger went right into his eyes. You see Ben Askren pointing to him. I think he was acknowledging, yeah, I got a finger in his eye. Better. Just careful when you're Not bad okay. blood, but they're still pros, man. Both handling that very gracefully, very professionally. Time in. Round four continues. Closing seconds of round four. Thank you, Jay Haran. Hey, see if you can land that big shot. Just landed the right seconds. hand at Haran. Stop there, guys. Just we are headed to round number now. five, Jimmy. I know it's an accident. Aim for his ears, please. Be very careful. Hey, listen. <laughs> Into the corner of Jay Haran. You've got to do it this round, babe. Put it right deep here. Deep breath in. Two big deep breaths. Hold on. Two big deep breaths. Big deep breath. Hey, bud, remember when we talked about one more than one punch? You're getting him with that last one, and you're letting him see there. Follow up with something like we talked about. Look at those knees to the ribs, to the thigh. Ben Askren is on top, unloading punches to the ears, to the side of the face. Very busy with his ground and pound in that round. Give me a deep breath. Four round of this is the last round, babe. Listen to me. One, two, one, two, one, two, in combination. Everything in combination. You hear me? Everything in combination. Extremely entertaining fight, Sean. Heading into our fifth and final round of this world title fight for Bellator's 170-pound belt. Jay Haran versus round, the champion Ben ready? Askren. Are you ready? A maximum of five minutes remaining in this bout, and here is round five. And Jimmy, how do you see it to this point? I have it all tied up 38-30. Great left hook. Tied up 38-38. Another good right. So on your scorecard, unofficial scorecard, but you always, I think, see these really, really well. Oh, thank you, Sean. I think we almost always agree. <laughs> if Iran wins this round on your scorecard, he's the new champion. I believe that. I think they are tied 38-38.
He has to defend the takedown early, and he does. Three judges, of course, scoring this fight. We are in Kansas. They are scoring for the state of Kansas. And it's been back and forth. First round to Haran, second one to Askren, third one to Haran, fourth one to Askren. When he scores the takedown early in the round, he wins the round. When he doesn't, he loses on my scorecard. Be sure to join us next week and get caught up on all of the tournament action and preview all four tournament finals. It's Bellator season five, Road to the Championship, and it premieres next Saturday night at 11 p.m. Eastern time on MTV2 and in HD on FX2. Our fifth and final round of this Bellator welterweight world title fight, Jay Haran versus the champion Ben Askren. Glad you were with us for Bellator fighting championships. Sitting cage side along with Jimmy Smith, I'm Sean Wheelock from the great Memorial Hall in Kansas City, Kansas. Nice jab by Haran. With that funky hair of his, every time he gets hit, you can tell when that jab pops in. Every time his head pops back, you can see it, Sean. Jay Haran having a lot of success with that jab. That's why I've given him the rounds I have given him, just accurate, tight strikes. Not landing big shots, but tight, accurate, picking Ben Askren apart. Haran letting go with the left hand, did not find the mark on that hook. Askren missing with his shots, Haran missing with his counters. And so far this round, to me, has been all Jay Haran. Nice. Beautiful job with that left hook and jab. Two lefts there by Haran finding the mark. And it's hard to shoot off the lead hand, the lead jab, the lead hook. It's hard to read, it's hard to see, it's hard to go underneath. The big bomb with the right hand, easy for him to drop level and get the takedown. That's why he's not throwing it very much. Nice uppercut. Now it's Haran coming forward, a big smile to Askren. Now Haran starting to loosen up. Askren missing with his shots. He does not want to get careless, though. This is a very close fight. Don't forget, we are on Ben Askren's home turf. He does not want to see this fight go to the judges. A lot of tension that was previously in the face of Jay Haran seems to have disappeared here in round five. He looks loose, relaxed, and confident. Only two minutes left in this fight. I think to have a shot to win this round, Ben Askren needs a takedown. He has been outboxed for three minutes. Askren, fake the shot there. Haran. You see, even when he's unloading, even when he's throwing combinations, Jay Haran is still very conscious of the takedown. Haran fainted the Superman punch a moment ago be before throwing the conventional left. I like what he's doing with that jab, keeping it in Askren's face, not giving him an easy path to his legs. Jab so underused in MMA, Jay Haran has used it to perfection tonight. Oh, big back shot. kick! Haran raised his hands, didn't pounce, now he does. No, he does not want to pounce on Ben Askren. This is Ben Askren's world. He wants to stay outside and do exactly that. Showboating and all-out taunting now from Haran. That's what he wants to do. He doesn't want to move forward and let Ben Askren do this. Move forward and grab his leg. Jason Herzog is saying that's a kick on a downed opponent. Askren is not bothered, we continue. Obviously unintentional, he's going for the legs. Ben Askren tends to sit up and look for legs, and that's what happened. Good call by the referee. This is the 25th and final minute of this world title fight. Well, this last round has been all Jay Haran. Will he finish strong, and will the judges see it his way? You don't want to fight a Missouri Tiger here. Askren entered as the champion. Will he leave as the champion? Will Jay Haran become Bellator's third ever 170-pound world titleist? So much suspense here at Memorial Hall in Kansas City. Oh, Kansas. great jab. Oh, good right hand. Askren feeling great about things right now. Hands down, letting go. Final seconds of the fight. Askren looking for one more big punch. The bell and the end of 25 minutes of fighting. An outstanding performance by both men. Will Jay Haran leave the champion? That is a huge fight for him. When we return, all suspense will be ended. We will find out who is Bellator's reigning 170-pound world champion. This is Bellator.
man, that, that was an outstanding fight, Sean. Very entertaining. Both guys really left it all in the cage. Both guys tried to implement their big game plans. Both guys, I think, followed them very, very well. I give the edge, I think, in the game plan department to Jay Heron. He did stuff the takedown. He did throw a lot of hands. Ben Askren got takedowns, but not with a lot of consistency, Sean. Jimmy, how surprised are you with the amount of time that these two fighters were on their feet? I am stunned. I did not think the fight would go that way. Ben Askren had taken down opponents with ease up until this point, but he had did not have his way with Jay Haran. Jay Haran came over to hug Ben Askren there, Askren having none of it. Well, I think whether he won or lost, we don't know yet. I don't think Ben Askren is pleased with his performance. You see here, Haran coming over to Ben Askren, give him a little love at the end of the fight. Ben Askren not having a lot of it. I think he's disappointed in his performance tonight. A grueling 25 minutes. Jimmy, how did you score this fight? I have it 48-47, Jay Haram, but those rounds were close. Let's see if the judges agree. So much tension here at Memorial Hall in Kansas City. Let's break the tension with Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, in this world title contest, we'll go to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge, Henry Gary, scores the fight 48-47. He sees it for Haran. Your second judge, Mike Boyd, sees the fight 48-47. He sees it for Askren. Your third and final judge, Kevin Champion, scores the fight 48-47 for the winner by split decision. And still, the Bellator welterweight world champion, Funky Ben Askren. Some cheers, some booze here in Kansas City, Kansas. You just saw Ben's wife, Amy Askren. Obviously, she's elated. Ben Askren, a successful defense of his title. He's with Jimmy Smith. I'm here with your welterweight champion, Ben Askren. Ben, you do not look like a guy who's pleased by his performance tonight, man. What's going on? Yeah, I'm not pleased at all. Um, you know, I'm supposed to be getting better, and I, you know, I did hit some stuff on my feet, but... In no way did I, you know, dominate Jay like I wanted to, and that's what I wanted to do, and I didn't do it. Um, I'm highly disappointed. Uh, that judge, you know, the judge could have went either way on that one. Uh, you know, I won split. He fought a good fight, and I, you know, personally, I, ex I expect more out of myself, and I didn't give it tonight. And I just got to go back to the drawing board and get better. Now, coming off a fight like this, very tough, probably the toughest of your career, certainly in Bellator. How are you going to try and improve? How are you going to let this motivate you? You have some very tough 170 pounders coming out of this tournament. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I got to get better everywhere. My takedowns were okay, but not great. My jiu-jitsu was okay, but not great. My stand-up was a lot better than it ever has been, but it's still got a long way to go. So, you know, like I said, I'm not happy with this fight whatsoever. Um, Winning like that isn't great, and it doesn't feel good, and I just got to get back to the drawing board. Well, you held on to your title. You'll obviously be interested in the final of Douglas Lima taking on Ben Saunders. The winner gets a shot at your belt. What are your thoughts on taking on one of those guys? Uh, I don't care. Whoever wins, wins. Uh, I, I just need to get better. My goal is to be the best fighter in the world, and I wasn't that tonight. I wasn't even close. Uh, your 170-pound Bellator champion, Funky Ben Askren, ladies and gentlemen. With that victory, Ben Askren makes the first successful defense of his Bellator welterweight world title.